False River is an oxbow lake located in southeastern Point Capi Parish which is about 20 miles from Baton Rouge. This lake was once the main channel of the Mississippi River in this area. It was cut off from the mighty Mississippi in about 1722 when seasonal flooding cut a shorter channel to the east. Additionally, water sports including boating, sailing, and water skiing may be enjoyed in the clean waters of the lake. Several commercial establishments provide launch facilities, boat rentals, supplies, and concessions. There are also many restaurants, bar and grills, antique shops, and bed and breakfast accommodations in the area. When I was 16, the father of my close friend, Don McClavey had a camp at False River on the island side of the lake. We spent many weekends there during the summer. Cotton was a big crop at that time, and we became friends with a black family across the road who were tenant farmers on a cotton plantation. Don and I agreed to spend the day with them picking cotton for a nickel a pound. That was the hardest work either of us had ever done, and at least for me, it was the last time I picked cotton for spending money. It was much easier to con my mother or do chores around the house. Fonville was a photographer for the state during the Leche administration and was tasked to photograph the recreational and commercial possibilities of False River. Fonville took his wife, Helen, with him to serve as a kind of model. The first scene that he encountered was flock of teals, a type of duck, taking flight. During duck hunting season, waterfowl may be legally harvested by the public in an area near Giro and Oscar. Louisiana known as the South Flats. Several private duck blinds have been erected in this area, but most duck hunters tend to simply anchor off their boats in the shallow water of the flats. In his next scene, at a time when commercial fishing on the lake was legal, he come across a crew fishing one end of the lake. One of the crew displays a rather large fish that they caught. Commercial fishing with trammel and gill nets are allowed on False River only during the open season and only by licensed commercial fishermen. Traveling along the road further he come across a lone fisherman, fishing from his boat tied to the bank. Recreational fishing on the lake was a common sight there. This 10.5 mile long lake is a trophy lake, which means that fish of a certain size are required to be thrown back to grow larger. False River has often held the state record for the largest base caught and has the largest number of striped bass per acre in the state. Between 1974 and 1981, more than 265,000 striped bass fingerlings were released into the lake which covers approximately 3,212 acres. Helen assisted him on this last shot as she posed fishing from the pier. She was incredibly good at baiting her own hook, but let it be noted that she did not catch any trophy fish. <laughs>